All right, my friends, that there is a 20 pound brisket. Today, I'm gonna to do something I've never seen done before. I'm gonna take this 20 pound brisket, we're not gonna trim it, but what I'm gonna do is take it and put it in this giant container because one of the best things I've ever made is a milk marinated prime rib. So today, we're gonna to do the milk marinated brisket. So we're gonna let this marinate for 24 hours in whole milk. And then tomorrow we're gonna brine it and let it dry brine. And then the next day we're gonna smoke it. We'll see you real soon. All right, let's throw it in the fridge. <laughs> All right, my friends, this bad boy is marinated for 24 hours. All right, now it's time to season this bad boy. I got the fat side up. I'm gonna season this side first because when I flip it over, then I'll season the top side. And then I'll just pick it up and put it on the smoker. And I like to put the fat side down because it kind of protects the meat from drying out in the flat. My favorite binder is Sriracha. Sorry, but I'm not sorry. Rub the Sriracha in. Now it's time for the new Dano's Primo. I've been waiting to do this for a while. We're gonna sprinkle generously. So the Dano's Primo has all the salt and pepper you need, except we use black salt, black pepper, black garlic, black cumin seeds, there's some poppy seeds in there, packed full of all kinds of natural flavors. We also got some Aleppo flake to add a little bit of kick. I'm telling you guys what, I'm super excited about this brisket because I don't think there's gonna be anything like it. Guess what, there won't be because this is the one and only Dano's Primo. I don't care who you are, you cannot tell me that's not a beautiful rub right there. I am super excited about this. All right, we're gonna flip it over, more sriracha, and more Primo. So we used about a bottle and a half of Primo, and now we're gonna set this in the fridge. It's gonna be about 12 hours. I let it brine in the milk for 24. We're gonna let this brine sitting in the fridge just like this for about 12 hours, because I'm gonna be back here at four in the morning to throw this on the smoker. Squeeze that in, it's a perfect fit. Let that sit for 12 hours. So here we are, three o'clock in the morning. We're going on at 225. All right, y'all, it's like 1030. So we're doing an internal 163 degrees. So now we're getting ready to pull it off our smoker. First thing you want to do is get you some water and spray down your butcher paper. Go on with one more piece right over the middle and press it down. All right, now let's go get our brisket. Oh my, my, <laughs> look at that. All right, we're gonna wrap this as quick as possible and get it back on so it doesn't stall out on us. All right. This is a big brisket. This is a big boy. Okay. Maybe can I fold this over like that? I should have went way wider, but you know what? We got it all concealed, so we should be ready to rock. Let's go back on our smoker. All right, so the first initial seven hours or so was a 225. Now we're gonna crank it up to like 260. And we're gonna let it get to an internal 195 that's what my buddy told me 195 all right we're turning internal 196 let's go inside and let it rest all right something i've recently learned is you don't want to rest it directly into your cooler you want to let it sit out and rest at room temperature when it gets to 155 internal that's when you put it in your cooler so we're at like a 165 right now but we gotta go so we're gonna go on and cut into this bad boy so we've let it rest just sitting out at room temperature been about an hour and a half, two hours. Let's see what we're working with here. I'm telling y'all what, the black pepper and the Dano's Primo is perfect for a brisket. Look how pretty that is. That's crazy good looking. Well, look at that. Mmm. 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 We'll go right here, cut the end off. Nice smoke ring. Let's see how we did. Looks a little dry, <laughs> a little dry. All right, so my flat might have been a little dry, but that's not dry, my friends. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This bottom part is super juicy, falling apart, packed full of flavor. The top part, the flat, you can see, I definitely overcooked it. So I wanna have to inquire with a professional. Get somebody to really teach me how to do this exactly right. Because I know I'm on to something because this flavor is unbelievable. Now we just need to figure out how to keep the juices in. Till next time, my friends, hit that follow button. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling.
Mm-hmm. Play was good. Mm-hmm.